good morning students uh, today we will go through one example of a research report so you will get an idea how to write the uh, components of the research proposal okay this is a research report by one group of students okay the title is the effects of perceived stress on sleep quality among undergraduate students from Kirst International University. Then they have given the names of the students. Then supervised by, they have given the supervisor's uh, names. Okay, then table of contents. We have discussed in previous, uh, previous video. Okay, introduction should be there, chapter one. Then, Chapter 2 will be Literature Review. Chapter 3 will be Methodology. We are not going to Chapter 4. Chapter 4 and Chapter 5 will be given after completion of your data analysis. So, we will cover up to Gantt chart part. Okay. So, Chapter 1 is Introduction. Introduction will have Background, Problem Statement, the justification of this research, then they have given research question, objectives, hypothesis and the significance of this study. We will see the chapter 1 first. Introduction will have background because this study is on perceived stress level on sleep quality. Okay. So, the background first paragraph will be about sleep, importance of sleep. Okay, then they have given, they have collected from different studies the information. Uh, this study was by Abraham Maslow that uh, uh, sleep is part of your physiological needs. Okay, then about sleep, they have mentioned sleep is divided into satisfactory and satisfactory. Okay, like that. Then they have given the reference also. Stores, that is a name of the scientist who did that research. Then, second paragraph. Okay, how much sleep is needed? Uh, more explanation about sleep. They have given. Okay, then these are the two paragraphs. Okay, so if your study is on depression, you have to give background information will be uh, what is depression. Okay, what is the public health importance of depression. Then second paragraph will be if your study is on depression and its relationship with uh, academic performance, then you have to tell how depression can affect academic performance. So, two or three paragraphs will be enough for background. Then after that, you have to give the problem statement. Problem statement means what is a research problem? You have to explain it. Okay, what is a research problem? Here, it is the uh, perceived stress and its relationship to uh, sleep quality. So, you have to explain about the problem. Okay, lack of sleep is a common phenomenon in student life. Okay, uh, why it is so? Medical students have poor sleep quality when it compared to um, non-medical students. That references you have to give. So, I told you before that references should be in APA format, right? So, at the end of the sentence, you have to give author's name and year of publication. At the end of the report or at the end of the proposal, you have to give the uh, full reference of this in alphabetical order. Not in the order it appears in the text. It should be in alphabetical order. Okay, this all. Okay, this is a problem statement about the 
depression uh, or uh, in this case about stress among students and its relation to sleep quality okay then justification justification is also a part of introduction why your study is important okay so justification means various researches revealed that stress level can affect sleep quality of students okay like that huh so uh, we want to know uh, if stress level affects sleep quality of students in this university if your study is on depression and academic performance you can uh, tell that various studies have shown that depression can affect academic performance and we want to know if the depression is affecting academic performance of students from the university that you consider okay next will be research question research question you have to type in a question format what is the level of sleep quality among undergraduate students what is the perceived stress level among undergraduate students so in this title two variables are there right the effect of perceived stress level on sleep quality among undergraduate students from qiu so in research question also you have to mention that what is the level of sleep quality among undergraduate students what is the perceived stress level among undergraduate student is there any effect then you have to tell that what is the effect between perceived stress level and sleep quality so these are the three research questions so we have to convert it into objectives objectives will be in sentence format it is not in a question format objective means general objective to determine the level of sleep quality and the effect of perceived stress level on sleep quality among undergraduate students okay that is a combination level of sleep quality and the effect of perceived stress level on sleep quality but in specific objectives you have to uh, explain in a way to describe the level of sleep quality and the level of perceived stress level among undergraduate students okay to evaluate the effect of perceived stress level on sleep quality among undergraduate students okay then in this study they are comparing between medical and non medical students so they gave one more objective to evaluate the effect of perceived stress level on sleep quality among medical students when compared to non medical students so three specific objectives are given okay now you have to tell about hypothesis statement hypothesis as already told before hypothesis is an assumption right assumption that uh, there is association between sleep quality and a perceived stress level so there are two type of assumption one assumption is known as null hypothesis another assumption is known as alternate hypothesis okay hypothesis 1 related to second specific objective okay null hypothesis is that there is no significant effect of perceived stress level on sleep quality alternate hypothesis means there is a significant effect of perceived stress level on sleep quality so null hypothesis means there is no significant effect alternate hypothesis means there is a significant effect hypothesis 2 you remember that is related to third objective there is any difference between medical and non medical students so null hypothesis is that there is no significant effect of perceived stress level on sleep quality among medical students when compared to non medical students alternate hypothesis is that there is a significant effect of perceived stress level on sleep quality among medical students compared to non medical students okay that's a alternate hypothesis so hypothesis you understood how to write then 
significance of the study significance of the study you have to write in a paragraph so medical medical curriculum is one of the toughest uh, the fact gives a clear depiction of how pressured medical students all around the globe Medical students often are often occupied with busy class schedules, which comprises practical and theory sessions. Okay, like that. So you know you have to give that if your study is between depression and academic performance, you can tell that okay, medical students are having so much of stress, so they are uh, more prone to develop depression. So the the then you can tell academic performance is warranted from medical student so depression can affect academic performance so we decided to do a study on um, depression and academic performance i am just giving an example in your perspective in this study perceived stress level you can tell that stress level is very high among medical student then it can affect sleep quality poor sleep quality can affect uh, quality of life and academic performance and all so that one paragraph you have to tell about significance of this study now we will go through what are the components of introduction introduction is chapter 1 first is background background about your study variable in this study you uh, they are telling about sleep sleep quality effect of poor sleep quality then association between stress and sleep quality then problem statement okay stress can affect sleep quality so you have to give some references about uh, how perceived stress can affect sleep quality <clears throat> then uh, you can quote some studies okay then justification okay you can tell that okay uh, um, uh, sleep quality can affect academic performance then research questions two or three questions in question format objective you have to convert the research question into a sentence format what you are going to do okay general objective you combine all in one sentence okay specific objective you divide it into Uh, two or three different specific objectives then hypothesis statement these are assumptions there will be null hypothesis there will be alternate hypothesis okay then then comes significance of the study why this study is important okay okay now we can go to chapter 2 in next video